Hi everyone, so today I'm going to continue uh, from the previous topic of chase options. If you haven't seen the video, you can watch it um, on our channel. But in today's tutorial, I actually will show you how to run a chase inside of the Q stack. And also, we will actually make it even more interesting. We're going to run a chase inside of the Q stack with a certain amount of repeats. So how to do this? So basically, I've created a Q stack that consists of um, we can actually renumber them if we need to uh, that consist of uh, what nine steps so and if we want to run them we've got um, uh, we will be able to just run and this is in my case it's just a Q stack yeah so I press go you can see it goes from one step to another And those four steps that I basically copied from this playback too, I will convert into chase. And this chase is going to be actually part of my queue stack. And I'll specify how many times I want the chase inside of the queue stack to loop before continuing with the queue stack. So, hope it's going to be interesting for you and I'll show you how to do it. So, this is the basic queue stack. I've said some fade time, that's standard, it's nothing new. Okay, so now these steps, four, five, six, and seven, I would like to create them, as, make them as a chase. So first of all, what you need to do is, you come into the, uh, under the column called timing, for those four steps, you select them, and you can either press enter, or just if you click here, it will bring you an option, it's gonna say, would you like to keep it as a queue, or chase, we say chase. Fine. So, I have it as a chase. Let's test it, and you're going to see what's happening. So, I'm going to run that. First step, second. So, as soon as I press third, the third step is going to say, and the next one will not wait and load in the fourth step. So, we go here, and from third to the fourth step, fifth, sixth, seven, and then it waits. It waits for me to press go, see, because it says follow and it's halt, yes. And then I can press go and it goes to the next step. So this is what you're going to get when you just change it to chase. So basically what you did is you just told those four steps to follow each other. But then uh, here's, the, here's the trick. If you would like the chase actually to loop, the thing you need to do is this. The column says next queue here. See, it says next. So by default, next means it will go automatic to the next step, but I don't want to do it. So I need to tell the magic queue where to jump back to and where the loop starts. So for me, the loop starts on the step number four. See, this number four. So I press here and I say my next queue will be number four. So what it means is, when it will run, it will go to the into the chase. Yeah, it goes to that step and goes back to this four and continues. Okay, so it's all good, but what we're missing here is. Um, Ah, I've set some uh, repeats. So I'll show you. Okay, give me a second. So it was there. So it should be zero. So again, uh, if I'll run it, you'll see that it goes step one, step two, uh, step three, and then it goes into the chase. So step two, three, four, and then it goes back to a step four, five, six, uh, six, seven. Yeah, and then it goes back and it will be in continuous loop. And the problem is for you to come out, you see, you'll be pressing go, uh, you can't come out because it's in a continuous loop. So basically, then you'll have to manually force it to go out to the force it to go out to the next step. But we again don't want to do it and we can't do it so what we need to do is then we need to tell it yeah fine run the chase inside but I want you to run it only X amount of times let's say I want to run it only twice for this 
as per previous video I was referring to, if you triple click on your Q stack and go to the chase options, you see here it says number of repeats and it says uh, zero. I press two. Now, if I run my Q stack, I press go, go, you will be able to see that it runs one, two, three, step, four, this is step number seven, again, four, five, six, seven. And then it stops and waits. We are perfect. We're almost there. So what I need to do is a last step. I want when, Q, uh, when the chase finishes doing running it twice, I want it to automatically go to the next step. So it will take you out of the loop. So come here and says, uh, it, you just change hold, no, uh, yes to no. So now if I put the fader down and raise it up again, look what's going to happen. It will run step four, five, six, seven. It will go to the second repeat. And after that, it automatically goes to the step number eight. There you go. So it is waiting for you to continue pressing go. You can do it several times within QStack. So you can have several chases within QStack, but uh, you can only once set how many times you want to do the repeats. So if I'll do another chase inside of the QStack, it will do the repeats twice again. So, so uh, or even if you have 10 of the uh, chases inside of the Q stack, they will only repeat as many times as you've set them in your options. So if you set it as two, it will run two. If you set three, it will run three. If that method is not really right thing for you, and you would like it to be, you want to load the chase along with one of the one of the Q steps in the Q stack and at some point when you move from this step you want the chase to be switched off then you can use another option which is called uh, uh, Q stack macros so how to do them so if I'll cha change this back to Q so I selected and press enter change the back in order to fix this, you see it's a next queue time. So if you want to see again the word next, you actually just need to specify the, the correct number of the next step. So the next step is going to be eight. So if I press eight, enter, it goes back to next. So then if I go back here now, I have again queue stack. So you can see here, it will wait for me. So step one, step two, etc., etc. So if I would like to run, when I go to the step number two, if I would like to run the chase, say playback number two, and then when I go to the playback number three, I want the chase to stop. To do this, you have to, as I said, use the QStack macros. So move to the right side of that screen, and you're going to see the option called macros, macro. So how to use them? Uh, go into the manual. I know. A lot of you probably hate looking at the manual, uh, <laughs> looking at the amount of the uh, re repeating questions we have in the group, but nevertheless, so um, if you open the Magic Q manual, so basically if you have a Mac, just come here and type magicq.pdf, it will find it for you, and then you can uh, you can just type here in the search Q stack macros and you one of the options here will actually find it for you and you've got some of the macros here again uh, don't feel intimidated that it is really hard in reality everything here just quickly explained what it does so it's gonna say for example the one I want to do is I want to switch on the chase I want it to run in the next step when I go in I want to chase to be switched off that's all I want so to do this, you have, for example, the option here that says active playback, activate playback at 100%. This is exactly it's like if, as if you would raise the fader up for the chase. And then you have a next option that says release playback at zero with 0%. Zero that means put the fader down and the button uh, and the, the letter is U and the number of playback. Again, how it works. 
So, in order for me to activate, say, playback number two from this page, I will go here in a macro window. You can double click it or you press set and click here if you have a physical console and you have to specify a letter. Let's say, for example, T is to test or activate playback and I put the number two. Press return. And now, in the next step, if I want to kill it at zero, like as I would, if I put the fader down, it's going to be, uh, you can double click, say U, 2, and enter. So now, look what's going to happen. So you run the Q stack, step number one. Now, as soon as you press step number two, it activates the chase on the playback number two. See, it's running in the background. So... As soon ah yeah because I put the amount of repeats there so if I didn't put the amount of repeats zero uh, let me just kill it and I'll show it to you again so I'll go back to my Q stack then I press go it activates the macro T2 which is the uh, activate playback number two and you can see it's all in a full loop mode and as soon as you're happy to Go to the next step, you press the button, and the next step loaded, and your chase is gone. So, as you can see, the command T, and then the playback number means activated at 100%, and then U2 means, uh, uh, like, uh, what does it say here? It says, yeah, release playback at zero. So, there is a different. there are different other options. So, if you want to activate any particular queue, from say a queue in a queue store for this there are some other options that's available here maybe i might do a separate video tutorial about the queue stack macros but basically don't feel intimidated it's really simple all you do is you have to put in the correct letter and the correct number so if it says a playback that means it's a playback on the same page not on a different page but on the same page if you want to specify a queue from a particular um uh from from the queue store then uh you can actually look into uh into the options here and for example uh you can say this is from the stack store activate queue stack from stack store what it means is if you say e and then if you want to activate a Q stack, let's say that is on the separate page, you can always look at the Q stack store, sorry, uh, Q stack store, and you'll find it here that there is a, another Q stack, for example, that's called um, uh, Beam Static. Yeah, you can see CS10. So then you will be able to actually come here and say E and then, apologies, E and then number uh, it's a it's a 10 this one so what I would do is I would go here and I say E 10 and if I will reactivate it again one two and if I go to the next one see it activates the the Q stack 10 from the Q stack store and so it doesn't touch anything here in on that page it actually you actually trigger stuff from your virtual space again hope it was useful again you can choose either of the methods if you want to delete it double click it press blank enter okay, again blank enter blank enter and if you want to learn more about Q stack store again go in the manual type in Q stack store it will bring you the right page and you can work from there Okay, cool. Thanks uh, for tuning in. Hope you liked it. Sign up, uh, subscribe under our channel, uh, YouTube channel called Kamsis Rus and also Kamsis, uh, just a, a official channel. And all the new, as soon as the new tutorials coming out, uh, you will be notified about this. Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye bye.